Hey nerds, and welcome to Flash, Theories and Conspiracies. I'm Brian from Good Nerd, Bad Nerd. This week on Flash was a very intense episode, but there wasn't, uh, there wasn't, there weren't too many Easter eggs per se. Um, so just some, some highlights and then we're gonna take some more stabs at who we think the man in the Iron Mask is. So uh, we got the, the backstory of, of Zoom this week. Um, seeing him in that insane asylum when he's in the electroshock therapy chair, and uh, the uh, particle accelerator wave hits him. This was a very cool scene, but it was also reminiscent, if you're familiar with um, Flashpoint, either the actual comic series or the animated uh, standalone movie. When Barry is in that alternate timeline, he needs to figure out a way to get his powers, so he's trying to replicate the uh, accident that gave him his powers and allowed him to tap into the speed force. And so there's a, there's a nice parallel there uh, seeing uh, Hunter Zolomon in the, the essentially electric chair and with Barry doing the same thing in Flashpoint. We also finally get to see where in uh, the, the series Barry going to Supergirl's Earth takes place and that's in that very opening sequence when they're testing out the, um, the, the device to make Barry go faster. He pops through a portal really quick and then comes out and when he gets back to Star Labs, he asks how long I was gone. And it's a shame they don't follow up with that because it would have been like, no, guys, I was at this other place. There was other heroes. We should try and find out if something like that has happened here. But I get they didn't want to waste any time this episode. And it was just kind of they had to acknowledge that he went. And so this was a good place to do it. Um, Cisco. We finally get to see Cisco. Um, overcoming his fear about using his powers, little pep talk from Barry, and we really get to start seeing him using the vibe powers that we know, and that's, you know, being able to control dimensional boundaries, things like that. We haven't seen him actually shoot it as a weapon yet, but we know that that's coming because we saw uh, Reverb do that. So, very cool stuff with Cisco. Cannot wait for more, especially as he gets more confident and maybe figures out how to tap into them without the goggles. Although, the goggles are, like, you know, I've said in past episodes, they, they're straight out of the comics, that, that kind of visor goggle thing he's got going on. So that's very cool. Now, finally, the, who is the man in the Iron Mask? Jay said you wouldn't believe it if he told you. So who could that be? Um, a lot of people are suggesting it's his dad, but everyone would kind of believe that. That's the guy who set him down this path of who he is and ruined his life. We don't ever get any kind of clarification on if his dad dies. I don't think. If I'm wrong, let me know, but I feel like we only see or get acknowledgement that his wife dies and then nobody in his family wants him. Um, now, obviously, his dad would have gone to jail if he didn't do a kind of double suicide thing, but we don't. I don't think we ever got any uh, official confirmation on that. The other option, and I saw this, this theory online and it was in the comments and I forget who commented it, so if it, Forgive me if uh, you have thought of this theory or that uh, this was your theory, but it's possible that this is Barry Allen from the future and he was brought back by Zoom to watch everything as a powerless individual. Now this would suggest Barry doesn't get his powers back in that timeline that he comes from, but as we know in the Flash, time is fluid and the fact that old Barry is even there is changing it. So what do you guys think? Is it possible that this is a future Barry without powers that Zoom has trapped there in order for him to watch what Zoom is doing? That's, uh, that's, that's a tough one. Um, but if not that, what do you guys think? Who do you think that man is? Um, it, we have been told it will be revealed on the final episode of the season, so we will find out who Zoom has, whether that character is being freed by the team or Zoom is just removing the guy's helmet. Hard to say. Um, do you think it's another Hunter Zolomon? We know he's got no problem pulling, uh, you know, essentially time ghosts of himself out of uh, different timelines. So what do you think? It's, uh, it's complicated, but I'm really looking forward to how they're going to finish off this season. So until next week, this has been Brian from Good Nerd, Bad Nerd, and this has been Flash, Theories, and Conspiracies.